Welcome to N4 Electrotechniques, and in this lesson, we'll be looking at grouping of cells. Here we have a container with electrolyte solution, and chemical reaction is taking place between two plates, a negative electrode made of zinc, and a positive electrode made of carbon. A cell is a device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy. A electrolyte solution is a mixture of water and sulfuric acid. A good example of a primary cell is a watch battery. However, the disadvantage is that it is not rechargeable. A good example of a secondary cell is a cell phone battery. And the big advantage is that it is rechargeable. Now, when connecting cells in series, to calculate the total EMF, it will be the sum of the EMF for each cell. Therefore, 1,5 plus 1,5 plus 1,5 would give us a total EMF of 4.5 volts. To calculate the total internal resistance, it will be the internal resistance of each cell added together. To calculate the total current throughout the circuit, it will be the total EMF divided by the resistance total. The resistance total will be the sum of the external load resistor plus the total internal resistance. Here we have an example of cells connected in series. Now, the EMF for each cell is 1,5 volts. And the internal resistance for each cell is 0, 0,1 ohms. Now, when we want to calculate the total EMF, we would say E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4. And that would give us a total EMF of 6 volts. To calculate the total internal resistance, it will be 0, 0,1 multiplied by 4, which is the number of cells. And that gives us 0, 0,4 ohms. To calculate the total resistance, it will be the external load resistor plus the total internal resistance to give us 20,04 ohms. To calculate the total current throughout the circuit, it will be the total EMF divided by the resistance total, therefore 0, 0,294 amps. To calculate the volt drop across the battery when there is a closed circuit, it will be the total current multiplied by the internal resistance of the battery. Therefore, the potential difference across the battery with a closed circuit is 0, 0,118 volts. Now, to calculate the potential difference across the external load resistor, it will be the current throughout the circuit multiplied by the value of the resistor. Therefore, the potential difference across the load resistor is 5,88 volts. Now, when grouping cells in parallel, the EMF total will be the same as the EMF across each cell. To calculate the total internal resistance, because the value of the cell is identical, the simple way of calculating total internal resistance is to say the value of the internal resistance divided by the number of cells. Let's have a look at an example. Here we have three cells connected in parallel across a load resistor of 5 ohms. The EMF for each cell is 1,8 volts, and the internal resistance for each cell is 0, 0,2 ohms. To calculate the total internal resistance, it will be the value of the internal resistance of 0, 0,2 divided by the number of cells. To calculate the total EMF, EMF across cells in parallel remains the same. Therefore, it will be 1,8 volts. Now, to calculate the current throughout the circuit, it will be the total EMF divided by the resistance total. Therefore, 0, 0,355 amps is flowing throughout the circuit. However, how much will the current be through each branch? Now, if we add up I1 plus I2 plus I3, it should give us the total current. So, that because the values of each cell are identical, we can say the total current divided by three cells, it means that there is 0, 0,188 amps flowing through each branch. To calculate the potential difference across the load resistor, it will be the current flowing throughout the circuit multiplied by the value of the load resistor. Therefore, the potential difference across the load is 1,775 volts. Here's an example of a series and parallel grouping of cells. Now, the first step is to simplify terminals A and B. To calculate the total EMF of cells in series, it will be 2 plus 2 
plus 2 to calculate the total internal resistance, it will be 0, 0,1 plus 0, 0,1 plus 0, 0,1. Therefore, for terminals A to B, the total EMF is 6 volts and the total internal resistance is 0, 0,3 ohms. Now, for step 2, we want to calculate the total EMF and total internal resistance for terminal C to D. Once again, cells in series, we add the EMF together and we add the internal resistance together and we get the same answers. A total EMF for terminal C and D is 6 volts and the internal resistance of 0, 0,3 ohms. Now we can simplify our diagram. Now we can say we have two cells in parallel. The EMF for each cell is 6 volts with an internal resistance of 3, 0, 0,3 ohms. Therefore, in step 3, the total EMF will be 6 volts and the total internal resistance will be 0, 0,3 divided by the number of cells, which is 2, and that gives us 0, 0,136. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to like these videos. Thank you.